Hey guys, what's going on? Here with a, another mask review, uh, which I haven't done one in a while. Uh, I'm going to be doing five masks today. So, alright, let's get started. First up is Schizo Head from 31. It's a great looking mask. It's got the clown hair, got the clown makeup and this beard. If you ever seen 31, you know who I'm talking about. I love that movie. It was a great movie. In my opinion, it was a great movie. It's a little different from uh, Rob Zombie's other movies, but still a good, pretty good movie to me. It's got the neck painted and got the little slit there. Pretty pretty good mask. 10 out of 10 out of this one. So, I really, I really do look like this one. I might have to, I'm going to have to buy the wig head or something for this and hang it up somewhere. So, or display it. So, cool mask. I, I do like this one. Pretty cool, pretty cool one. All right, next one. It's the 31 poster mask. It's a, it's got a big hole for if you're, got a big head like like me so it kind of reminds me of Captain Spaulding a little bit just with with these a little bit see if you ever seen Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses you know exactly what I'm talking about so yeah this is a pretty cool one it's a poster clown thing whatever so definitely like this one so definitely recommend this one All right, next, next up on the block is Slotherface. Now, in my thinking, like a video or two ago, I reviewed the <clears throat> 1974 Killing Mask from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I said that uh, that there's a different version, and this is the different version I was talking about. So it's got the the half mask, the elastic strap. Yeah, it looks, I mean, it looks like Leatherface, but yeah. there's also Trick or Treat Studios is, is a, you know, has a, like a version of this, but it's a clown. And it's like, I got one of those, I might do that, do a review of that, but I put blood like all over it. I mean, it looks just like this, but it's like white and it's got like, you know, different colors on it, like a clown would. So definitely recommend this one great mask so yeah this is the different version from Trick or Treat Studios all these masks I'm doing in this video is from Trick or Treat Studios I went to the to a local uh, Halloween shop in uh, in Lenexa Kansas so called Twisted Halloween they sell some pretty cool masks so go buy one of these these are this is a Pretty cool one. I do like this one. All right. Next one. If you got if you got any wrestling fans here, I got two wrestling masks for you. It's a Kane's debut uh, mask from Trick or Treat Studios. Again, I got like I said, like I got all these at a local Halloween shop called Twisted Halloween in Lenexa, Kansas. So that. Yeah, this is Kane's debut mask. And see, here's the straps for it. it says uh, elastic straps. The only thing that I kind of don't really, I mean, I, it's like I've always wanted one of these, but it doesn't have the little chin strap and it doesn't have like the strap or the straps like. He had a Kane had it on his mask, but I do like this mask though. I've always wanted a Kane, you know, Kane mask like this. So definitely pretty cool mask. I do like this one. Really cool mask. All right, last up on the block is Mr. Mick Foley, 
also known as Mankind. Pretty cool mask. And I've always wanted a Mankind mask like this. So here's the, here's the back. Not much of a, I mean, it's a really cool mask. I do like it. So, triggered another Trick or Treat Studios creation. If you're, if you're definitely a Mick Foley fan or a Kane fan, definitely go pick one of the, you know, pick one of these up on trickortreatstudios.com and same with all the other masks I did. So, so yeah. Pretty cool masks, I think. You know. So, go pick yourself one up. And see if your local Halloween shop has one. Or go to trickortreatstudios.com. See if they had, you know, go buy one of those. If your local Halloween shop doesn't have one. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. You know. Stay metal. Stay awesome. And thanks for watching this video.